this effect workflow is going to blow your mind. Let's export as many frames as we want from our video. You can click browse and set the path of these to any folder on your desktop. If you right click on the time and set it to frames, you can choose a specific number of frames like every 10 frames or 5, or just choose whatever different frames you like. Once you've exported as many frames as you like, let's open them up in Photoshop. Let's go to Window, Actions, and make sure you're in Classic Actions mode. Here you can hit plus to create a new action, and we'll call this Effect Workflow. I'll press record, and now you want to be very careful of every button you're clicking is getting recorded. So I'll do Select All on my layer. I'll go to Generative Fill. I'll use whatever model I want. And for example, I did rip this photo into pieces and tape it back together. And I'll click Generate. Then I'll hit Stop Recording. So we've created this action that selects our layer and applies that generative prompt. Now, I'll just delete what I made. So rather than do this to every single photo, we can just go to File, Script, Image Processor, use Open Images. You can create a new folder to save these in or in the same location. And the key is in the preferences, you want to run that action that you just created. So now I can just hit Run. I can go grab a cup of coffee or whatever I want. And this will just run through everything that's open. If you don't want a specific thing, you can just click cancel, it'll go to the next one, but it'll just save all of these into that folder while you're away from the computer. Once it's done, I can go into that folder and see all of my results, which if I just drag back into my timeline, I can edit and adjust all of these back into my video project. So in this case, I can nest them all together perhaps. I can press R to grab the right stretch tool and make them squeeze into a certain length, like a few seconds. And I can even apply further effects onto them, like black and white with a little vignette, put some music behind it or whatever. This is just an example. This workflow could be any prompt you want and do it in different ways. But I thought this was a really novel workflow. This is just one result that I came up with. Send this to an editor and see what they think.